So the first trailer for Hawkeye just came out today. And before I get started talking about the trailer and watching it for you guys, don't forget to follow me on social media. My username is down below at the bottom of the screen and in the description below. And with that said, let's do this. This is the first Christmas we've had together in mm -hmm. years. I love you guys. Oh. I'm making up for some lost time. Authorities are wondering if the masked vigilante who terrorized oh. the city's underworld is back. Oh. Oh boy. Woo. Oh, I love what Marvel's doing with the phase four intros. When I wore this suit, I made a whole lot of enemies. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Who the hell are you? Some people actually hold me. The world's greatest archer. Oh. Are you one of those people? Hey. I should be back in a day or two. Hang on a second. Whoa! What a chad. Oh. oh. <laughs> Tracks with vampires? There she is. Oh boy, yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, that's the trailer to Hawkeye. And before we get started, once again, follow me on social media, as I said. And with that said, I love the trailer. I am a sucker for Christmas projects set, that's set around that time frame. So the fact that Hawkeye is actually set in that time makes me really excited because I really like the character and I loved what they did with him in Avengers Endgame. And I've been really looking forward to the show ever since they first announced it because it's about time that Hawkeye finally got a show about his character. He's no longer a side character like in Captain America Civil War or in the Avengers movies. He is, has he has his own solo property. But I really like the inclusion of Haley Steinfeld as Kate Bishop. She's a great actress and I'm really excited to see her in this role. And speaking of the trailer, I really liked how that dynamic we saw between Clint and Kate. It looked I like the banter we saw from them, especially with the end with the do you have arrows more dangerous than that? I really like that. And Christmas. Um, it looks like thanks to what happened with him as Ronan since before Endgame and after Infinity War, it looks like, yeah, they're really going to explore his past as Ronan, which is really great because I've always wanted to see more of what he did as Ronan in that time frame. So the show looks like it's going to give us what he's done, all the people he's wronged, and all the people he might have killed along the way. And it really shows here, especially with, looks like the tracksuit vampires, if I'm not mistaken. And this is based off of the Matt Fraction Hawkeye run from the comics. Haven't read it, but I heard it's really good. And it looks like the show's pulling inspiration from that. And looking at Hawkeye's ears, it looks like he might actually lose his hearing on the show. Because in the comics, he is deaf, but... That's never happened on the show yet, so I think... Well, in the MCU yet. But it looks like the show might actually make it happen. They might have him lose his hearing and become more like his comic book character, which I'm really looking forward to seeing how that plays out. And surprisingly, there's no Yelena Boliva introduction, which I get because the end of Black Widow... Spoilers for Black Widow. Um, you find out that she has been task to kill Hawkeye so I again I wasn't expecting it but I was a little bit curious to see if they were gonna do anything resolving that and yeah but I love the Christmas setting and I really like what I saw so far the action looks like it's gonna be really great 
because it's a street level show. I love the action when it comes to street level characters like Hawkeye, especially in a show like Daredevil. And yeah, I really like to see the banter between Clint and Kate, the action. I love the Christmas setting, by the way. Oh, and does anybody have tickets for the Rogers, the musical? Because I would like to see that, to be honest. So it looks like because it's in Christmas, then I'm also curious, is this set, when is this set in phase four? Because a lot of stuff we've had is set before Far From Home. So I have a feeling this could be set after, this could be set after Far From Home, maybe even around the time No Way Home happens, to be honest with you, which I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they go for. But yeah, Hawkeye is a Disney Plus MCU show I'm really excited for. I've been really excited to see this since they first announced it uh, two years ago. And I really like Jeremy Renner as the character, and I cannot wait to see him in his own, in the spotlight, besides Kate Bishop. So, really like it. I hope we get to see a lot of good action and a lot of... And it looks like a fun... It's also funny, too, now that I mention it. it there are fun, funny moments in this trailer, and that makes me feel like there is going to be some humor here and there. And I'm really... I like it. I love Christmas-related shows, and I love stuff that can involve humor when it's done right. And it's Hawkeye. So, of course, I'm going to see it. And I'm going to be real excited for it. So, that's that. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Hawkeye trailer. What did you think about this trailer? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys will stay tuned for more and watch Hawkeye on November 24th. This is too dangerous. Definitely not this one. You'll have to say definitely like that. Holy shit.